Let's have another example for the binomial expansion. So we have this problem. Solve for the middle term of the binomial uh, 4p plus q raised to 8. So middle term, no? Uh, magkakaroon lang ang expansion ng middle term kapag even yung degree na nire-raise mo yung binomial natin. So, is 8 even? Of course, it's even. And the middle term will be at n plus 1, uh, n over 2 plus 1. So, divide mong 2, mag-add kang 1, yun yung middle term mo. So, in this case, since n is 8, the middle term will be at 8 over 2 plus 1 or the fifth term. And remember na yung r plus 1 term natin is this equation. So, r is equal to 4. Dahil fifth term siya, r plus 1 term to yung r mo, 4. So, we have 8 combination 4, a which is 4p raised to 8 minus 4, b which is q raised to 4. And solving 8 combination 4 using our calculator, we find out that that is equal to 70. And 4p raised to 4, so 4 raised to 4. So we have 256p raised to 4. And then q raised to 4. Finally, multiplying everything, we have uh, 17,920 p raised to 4, q raised to 4. One clue na alam nating tama tayo, so ito yung answer natin, no? Mag-i-box muna natin. One clue na alam nating tama tayo, kapag middle term, yung raise nung dalawang term mo, yung p ko, in this example, at saka yung q ko, yung degree nila equal sa kalahati nung degree ng original uh, binomial natin pag in-expand. So, 8 ito, kalahati na is 4, so parehas silang 4. So, that's one clue na tama yung sagot natin and this is actually the middle term. Example number 4 sa binomial theorem. So, unang tingin, this is not a binomial, it's actually a trinomial. Diba? Kasi tatlo eh, oh. Trinomial to. So, para magamit ko yung binomial theorem, ang gagawin ko lang, igugroup ko muna yung dalawang term yung unang dalawa. So, x cubed minus 2y plus 3z squared tapos naka-cube. So, parang kukunin ko to as one term. So, it's one term. This is the second term. Binomial na siya sa tingin ko. Kasi nakagrupo na to eh. And we will proceed with our uh, binomial expansion. So, we have 3 taken 0 times x cubed minus 2y raised to 3, 3z raised, 3z squared raised to 0, plus 3 taken 1, and so on. Pagkatapos mo na yan, pwede na natin kunin yung mga values ng, ng aking mga binomial coefficients. Okay, 3 taken 0 is 1 times x cubed minus 2y raised to 3, and of course, 1 na to, so hindi natin susulat, plus 3 times x cubed minus 2y squared, 3z squared, plus 3. So, ito yun. Okay, I expanded that. And then, let's add. Okay. So, na-expand na natin yan. Isusunod natin yung dalawa pa doon. We have, okay, after nyan, combine like terms and so on. And you will get the following answer. Okay. So, ito yung final answer. Ito yung expansion ng trinomial na ka-cube. Uh, wala na akong makita ng same term. So, I think ganito na. Okay, so, applicable pala yung binomial expansion sa trinomial na nakaray sa kahit saan. 
ulit-ulitin mo lang yung binomial or mag-grouping ka muna sa simula para maging binomial siya. Ayos ba? Like mo yung video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe. <laughs>